Hello first graders. It is Thursday and we are continuing on in our math um, lessons for the week. So we've been talking about double plus one. So we're going to continue working on using that strategy to start with today. So let's try it out. Okay. Since we've been learning a little bit about it this week, I'm going to give you a problem and I want you to see if you can solve it using the double plus one strategy. Okay, so with six plus five, these are right next to each other on the number line when you're counting, so you can use the double plus one strategy. Use the smallest number and double it. What is five plus five? Five plus five equals 10. And then add one more and you get 11. So six plus five is 11. We're gonna do one more for today and then we're going to move on. Let's do pause the video for a minute and see if you can solve this problem using the double plus one strategy. All right, so if you solve this problem correctly using the double plus one strategy, you chose the smallest add-in first. Eight is smaller than nine, so we're going to be using eight. You doubled it and did eight plus eight. What is eight plus eight? Eight plus eight is 16. And then you're going to add one more, since nine is one more than eight. What is 16? Add one more. 17. So nine plus eight is 17. And we use the double plus one strategy to figure that out. All right, on to our word problems. Okay, here's our first one. Sorry, my nose keeps itching today. Okay. Let me read it to you and listen for the question that is being asked. Avery loves to golf. She hit nine golf balls on Monday. On Tuesday, Avery hit 11 golf balls. How many golf balls did Avery hit altogether? What's the question that we're solving there? The question that we are solving is, how many golf balls did Avery hit altogether? Okay, now let's listen to each sentence and see if there's any important information that we need to circle. Avery loves to golf. Is there anything important there? No, I mean it's cool that she loves to golf and everything, but that's not going to help us solve the problem. So there's nothing that we need to circle in that sentence. She hit nine golf balls on Monday. What's important in that sentence? Nine is important. Monday is not really important because I already know the question's just asking me how many golf balls she hit all together. It's not asking about a certain day, so I don't really need to worry about Monday. Let's listen to the next sentence. On Tuesday, Avery hit 11 golf balls. What's important there? 11 is important. How many golf balls did Avery hit all together? Okay, let's figure out the plan here. Our plan. Are we adding or subtracting? If she hit nine golf balls and then she hit 11 and we want to know how many she hit all together, the word all together really helps me to know that I need to add. So we're going to be doing nine plus 11, and we want to see what that equals all together. This is not a missing add-in problem. Remember those missing add-in problems a lot of times have the word like sum. They don't tell us how many, they just say it had some. So there's no sum in this problem. It tells us exactly what each add-in is, nine and 11. So let's solve the problem. If I don't know nine plus 11, I could solve it by using counters. So let's put out nine here. 
and then I'm going to put out 11 on this side. Remember, I like to use a different color for different add-ins. That way it's easy to see. This is my first add-in, this is my next add-in. So I'm going to do 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then to solve this problem, I'm going to add them together. So I know that this is 9. I don't even have to count it again because I already double checked it. This is 9. So I'm going to say 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So 9 plus 11 is 20. This marker is starting to run out. All right, 20. Now, I'm going to double check it before I know for sure that that's the right answer. I'm going to check it, I think, this time by counting up. So when I count up, and I can use my fingers to count up, I'm going to start with the larger add-in first and then count up the smaller number of times. So if I have 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I just added nine more and I got 20. So both ways that I checked the problem, they both equal 20. So can I answer this problem? How many golf balls did Avery hit altogether? Altogether, she hit 20. All right, one more word problem for today. Cooper went, oh. There's already a typo, my goodness. Let's take out the word went, that doesn't make sense. See right now, I am revising my word problem. Revising is a part of the writing process. Revise is where you take out or add. I'm taking out. <laughs> okay, Cooper sat in his deer blind. On Monday, he spotted nine deer. On Tuesday, he saw some more. Cooper saw 15 deer total. How many deer did Cooper see on Tuesday? Okay, what's our question that we need to solve? How many deer did Cooper see on Tuesday? All right, now let's listen to each sentence and listen for important information. Cooper sat in his deer blind. Any important information there? Nope, nothing important. It's cool that he sat in his deer blind and all, but that's not going to help us solve the problem. So keep on going. On Monday, he spotted nine deer. What's important there? Two things are important. Monday is important because the question asked us about a day of the week. Okay? And then nine is important because it tells us how many he saw on that day. Let's read the next sentence. On Tuesday, he saw some more. Hmm, well, I hear some important stuff. Tuesday is important. Tuesday is the day that they're asking us about. And some more is important as well. Remember, I told you, when you hear the word some, it sometimes is saying that's a missing add in. This is a missing add-in here. Tuesday, we're not sure how many there are, so that total is missing. But more tells us we may be adding. Cooper saw 15 deer total. So 15 and total are both important. Okay, 15 and total are both important. How many deer did Cooper see on Tuesday? Okay, let's talk through this problem. We've just analyzed it. Now let's make a plan. Okay, so on Tuesday, on Monday, he spotted nine deer. On Tuesday, he saw some more. If he is seeing more deer, is he adding to what he already saw or taking away? adding to what he already saw. So nine plus something, and then he saw 15 deer total. Total tells me that's the sum. Altogether, he saw 15. So nine deer on Monday plus some more on Tuesday equals 15 deer total. 
how many deer did he see on Tuesday? Okay, I think we've got ourselves set up here with a plan. We're going to solve this problem right here. There are several different ways I can solve a missing add-in problem. I'm going to solve it one way and then we're going to check it another way. That way to, we make sure we get the right answer. Okay, so what I can do is draw nine here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then go to my missing add-in and continue until I get to 15. So we have 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. How many did it take here to get to 15? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I think 9 plus 6 is 15. Now I'm going to double check that before I go with that answer for sure. So here's how I'm going to check it. And I'm going to erase this so it doesn't confuse you with what I'm going to do next. This time, to see if 6 is right, I'm going to draw 15 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then I'm going to take away 9. Because out of these 15, I know he saw 9 of them on Monday. So this one was on Monday. This one was on Monday. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. How many are left for him to see on Tuesday? One, two, three, four, five, six. So he must have seen six on Tuesday. When I added to figure it out, I got six. When I took 15 and subtracted nine, I still got six. So can I answer the question now? How many deer did Cooper see on Tuesday? On Tuesday, he saw six deer. Remember, Monday was nine, Tuesday was six. Together on both of those days, he saw 15. So that's how I get my missing add-in answer. I hope that you're feeling more confident on solving these missing add-in problems. They're really fun to solve. It just really takes some planning and sitting down and really thinking about what the problem's asking you. Alrighty guys, I hope that you have a great rest of the day. Don't forget to do your Alexia, IXL, and Dreambox time and um, work on your math playlist as well as your reading. Alright, see you later.